Oh, man, I must say, Liverpool and Manchester United have given us an all-timer in the FA Cup in their quarter-finals, ending 4-3 after extra time. This was an insane game. Man United threw everything at it. They ended the game in such a peculiar formation and in the stoppage time of extra time, Diallo winning it, taking his shirt off, getting a second book and getting a red. The absolute scenes. I'm bl mind is blown by this game for a multitude of reasons. One, and maybe most the most salient point is, I was really friggin' impressed by Liverpool and uh, me it's here to agree. Were you impressed by Liverpool? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Um, not impressed by Liverpool. I was really impressed by Man United. I was shocked by Liverpool. Liverpool had like their, um, you know, very strong, very, very strong lineup out. They had, I mean, granted, they don't have Trent or I guess Canate, but they had like Gomez, who's been playing well at fullback. Andrew Robertson started. Kelleher, who's won loads of cups, mostly against Chelsea in goal. Um, yeah, Van Dijk and Kwanzaa Kwanza is a good youngster. They had the midfield of Endo, McAllister and Sabozlai, which is their first choice midfield. And then they started Salah, Nunez and Luis Diaz up front. You know, that is an incredibly strong uh, Liverpool side. And I thought they were going to take United to pieces, bro. United players started with a 4-2-3-1, but whatever the formation they finished with, they finished with one sentence or what, two defenders on the pitch. Maguire and Dallo, but Maguire was playing as a striker, so they had like a fullback staying back, and that was it. And I think Fernandes, or Fernandes, as the Portuguese pronunciation goes, was playing centre-back. Onana in goal, Dallo, Lindelof, Varane, Wambasaka. Um, double pivot of Kobe Maynou and Scott McTominay, and then Rashford, Fernandes, Garnacho, and Hoyland uh, making the front four. And we saw substitute appearances from Mason Mount at the very end, didn't do anything. Diallo won the game. Ericsson got about it, did a bit. Um, Maguire, <laughs> to be honest, like the double substitution in the 71st minute. Well, when you needed to, to change the game and come back and win it, was Anthony and Maguire. And I laughed, right? I was like, that's very funny. And they both had a massive effect. It was freaking wild, bro. Uh, in terms of like how... Yeah, so Liverpool had, despite being at Old Trafford, they had a 61% chance of winning and 10% draw. So it was only at, at, at home. A United at home only had a 29% chance of winning. Sofa score tells me this. Uh, understandably, Liverpool had more possession. They had the same amount of shots. Uh, no, they didn't. Well, United had 28 shots. 28 shots! 25 shots uh, from Liverpool, which is crazy that Man United have high, a higher shot volume for Liverpool. Because there's one thing about Liverpool in this season. All competitions, they have like an insane vo shot volume. Um, but to be outshot by Man United, who have been... Man, I think United this season have been terrible, like ge genuinely. I know I'm speaking as a Chelsea fan and, and where we are, uh, and obviously we won our game today and then drew Man City, by the way, but that's a whole different story and probably a discussion for football therapy. But in terms of um, this game, like... Uh, it was just an insane game. Let's go for it. So Scott McTominay poaches finish in the 10th minute, uh, opens up the scoring... Uh, McAllister gets a booking. I think McAllister could have got uh, been sent off, by the way, because he got an early booking and he definitely could have got uh, one later. Uh, but he actually scores the equaliser to make it 1-1 in the 44th minute. And I actually believe at that point, United are looking good. Um, United, like, basically sort of take control against the game a little bit again, but then lose it. Liverpool are on top in the, the second half and they get that goal from Mohamed Salah to go 2-1 ahead at half time. <laughs> But we've got so much to go in this game. Um, second half, uh, Liverpool are dominating, but they're also being very intelligent, Liverpool. They're doing what they do. They pass the ball around. They're keeping possession. They're not letting United, um, you know, do what they want, essentially, because it's their yard, it's their turf, and they're losing. Um, and like I said, in the 71st minute, we see that uh, double substitution. Wan Bissaka, who I thought was good. Hoyland, who's... He's, he's kind of like the Mahala Mudrik of... Man United, I think, like looks really, really good at what his role. It could be really great, but um, doesn't rarely seize out the game and still a bit raw. 
Uh, Anthony and Maguire come on, and that's uh, and I'm, they're losing. United are losing at home, and you bring on Anthony and Maguire, and everyone's rolling their eyes. And genuinely, they made a big difference. Um, Klopp goes for it in the next five minutes. He makes three changes. Interestingly, at three different intervals. Uh, they, just do it all at once. Why are you? Why are you? You using all your slots like incrementally every couple of minutes? Maybe he's just trying to slow the game down. I guess because they're ahead at this point. But then, yeah, a couple more changes, Diallo and Eriksen. And yeah, their substitutions were really good for Ten Hag. And of all people, okay, come of the hour, come of the man in the 87th minute. So the dying embers of regulation time, Anthony scores an equaliser. It is a great goal. And to be honest, if, if you told Liverpool fans that Anthony is going to be scoring a decisive equaliser in the dying seconds of this game with his weak foot, his right foot, they this is the second goal I think he scored all season. Anthony is known for being a one-trick pony getting on his left foot and curling it, trying to curl it top bins. That's, he's like, that's all he's done. But he did the opposite here. He received it tight, turned onto his weaker foot and drilled it low and finished and got the goal. And I'm just laughing my ass off at this point. I think it's brilliant. So it goes into extra time, a st- oh, stoppage time a few minutes and then it goes into 30 minutes extra time. It's 2-2, guys. But, but we get we get three more goals and, and when everyone's knackered and, and it just becomes crazy. So... I guess Ten Hag just says, right, let's go for this. And he starts doing his weird formation because he takes out... So Klopp makes a couple of more changes. Elliot uh, scores what looks like probably is going to be the winner. And as a Chelsea fan, I'm saying, look, this is what happens against Liverpool. You, they, This is what happened to us in the cup final as in the League Cup final, we were battering them at the end of regulation time. Of course, Anthony got the goal, but then they went on to do chance, chance, chance. And then Rashford, turns out, he probably would have been offside, but just misses that, you know, what everyone thought would have been a winner. And Liverpool are getting hammered at the end of regulation time. Now, Chelsea were all over Liverpool in the final at the end of regulation time, but we just flopped and went into stoppage. Sorry, um, extra time, excuse me. And Chelsea shrunk, and that's where the, you know, the Bowdy's billion pound blue bottlers came from from Gary Neville and I thought it's the same thing's going to happen because five minutes or 10 minutes into the um was it in a 15 whatever a few minutes in Elliot gets that goal and you think that's it that's it now Liverpool have done they've done it again you know a young player in additional time um really really sort of frustrating Mason Mount comes on for the the, the much forgotten Mason Mount comes on for Lindelof so now <laughs> It's a very strange formation because we've got two centre backs off in Varane and Lindelof. Uh, they've taken us this. Uh, they've taken a, a full back off in Wan Bissaka. Um, come off as a holding player, so it's a very gung ho uh, approach from Ten Hag. It's a very strange formation at this point. But um, Rashford in the 112th minute gets an assist from McTominay and. Uh, yeah, man, he, he does well. I'm really happy for Rashford, actually, because as an England fan, he's just taken a lot of heat. And, you know, he's a, he, he's a great player, Rashford, and he should be this like iconic player for United, but he just catches so much heat. It's the way football is, I guess, in the social media age as well. Um, we see is it Bobby Clark, B. Clark, comes on for Liverpool. Klopp's really doesn't want penalties here. But, yeah, Diallo gets a booking in the 116th minute. And we're probably forgetting about that because he would have liked to play in the semi-final, especially against Coventry, who they've drawn. Um, he scores the winner. I think Kelleher should have done better on that goal. Um, but uh, yeah, it was smashed with narrative. Goes in the corner and uh, Diallo wins it in stoppage time of extra time for Man United. And it can only be described as an FA Cup all-timer because it's how it happened, you know, how the game went. And also, um, you know, the, the, the rivalry, you know, and, and it's, the, it's the Jürgen Klopp farewell tour uh, ruined. The, quad, the quadruple can't be won now. Um, and yeah, I'm looking at the attacking momentum on sofa score. United started well and they ended well, but the middle of the game, it was for Liverpool to, to essentially win that. Uh, and maybe they bottle it. So United, despite me thinking, well, many people thinking they've been awful all season, Great performance, great show of character here. They've got Coventry in the next round. You'd have to say they'll 
even if they have an off day, which United are liable to do, that they'll beat Coventry and they've got to a cup final. The FA Cup final, which is a great achievement. And they will face either Chelsea or Manchester City. They will be hoping somehow Chelsea because we can... Well, Chelsea don't generally beat Man United. And we haven't done for many, many years. So they'll be hoping for Chelsea. Um, but, you know, they beat Liverpool. They'll fancy to beat Man, Man City. Um, you know, despite Man City being the treble winners and amazing, we, Chelsea, haven't lost to them this season. So there is that. Um, yeah, I wanted to react to this game. Amazing game. Really, really exciting. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Um, why not subscribe and like the video? Yeah? All right. Peace.